these bottles of blood may hold the key to a potentially lethal legacy for Vietnam. It is a controversy spanning almost 40 years. Did the extensive U.S. spraying of the defoliant known as Agent Orange during the Vietnam War harm and deform generations of people long after the war ended? Arnold Schechter is an American doctor who is considered a leading authority on Agent Orange. He says it is a very sensitive issue in the United States and in Vietnam. It has tremendous uh, political, financial, public relations implications, of course. On the other hand, from a public health perspective and from a medical perspective, uh, there are really compelling uh, purposes, uh, reasons for us to be working together. For the first time, human blood samples are being allowed out of Vietnam for testing in Germany. A similar mission four years ago failed when the samples were seized at Hanoi Airport. During the war, some 76 million liters of herbicides, including Agent Orange, were sprayed over Vietnam. Experts now call it the biggest and longest application of dioxins. These are substances now known to cause serious health effects in humans. In central Vietnam, in Kham Lo, Li Hu Dong, a former South Vietnamese soldier, remembers. He says if they sprayed in the morning, by afternoon, the leaves began to drop from the trees. And in his words, we were feeling very tired. Sean Van Charm has four children who are both physically and mentally handicapped. A fifth child died last year. She says after spraying, our eyes watered and became red, that they often didn't have time to escape to their bunkers. John Diogin heads the International Red Cross in Vietnam. He says in Hanoi, there are children two generations later still suffering something worse than landmines because you can remove a landmine. But you can't dig the landmine of a chemical weapon or a chemical out of the genes of somebody. It's impossible to do that. Dr. Schechter indicates and time is running out. Because it's been 30 to 40 years since the spraying uh, started. Uh, if we don't start now, we'll have lost the opportunity forever. He is to report to the U.S. Congress later this week and hopes the first U.S. government money for Agent Orange research will be approved soon. There are also thousands of American veterans of Vietnam who will be waiting for those results.